Hello friends, welcome back to another video of Automation Testing Insider. So today I'm going to talk about Scale Agile Framework or Safe Agile. So this is Agile process or Agile framework which we follow at enterprise level or company level. So I'll take it to my system directly guys where we'll discuss more about Safe Agile. So let's get started. <music> So guys let's talk more about scale agile framework so you can call it as safe and let me just give an introduction of scale agile framework so in the earlier video uh, in the previous video we talked about agile process agile process and scrum we talked about agile so what do you mean by agile so let me just recap like what we have discussed in agile and scrum so Agile is a mindset or the way of working the uh, things or you can say uh, I mean couple of things which we discussed like mainly it focused on the delivery of the software to the customer and the second thing is the capability of, capability of handling the requirement change. So these are the two important things in Agile, uh, Agile principle or Agile model and what do you mean by Scrum then? So Scrum is a framework uh, based on Agile principles. So these are the two things which we talked about. Now if you talk about SAFE, so it is an extension of Scrum. It is an extension or uh, it implements, it implements, implements Scrum, Scrum at enterprise level, enterprise level or you can say company level company level so since scrum is framework so safe is also a framework scale agile framework which implements the scrum at organization level uh, another definition could be like agile handles the small projects small projects within the organization and if you talk about safe it handles the large or complex projects large complex projects at organization level so when we talk about organization so scale agile framework comes into the picture now there are three segments so hope you, it is clear guys uh, the difference between safe scale agile framework and agile or scrum now uh, if you talk about uh, scale agile framework so there are three segments we have portfolio and we have uh, another one is program and the last one is team so we can divide uh, scale agile framework into three segments the portfolio level program level and team level so here who handle this portfolio so we have portfolio management team portfolio management team so basically it is like a top level uh, or you can say gov governing body of the company they will uh, take care of this portfolio management uh, portfolio management so basically they understand the current business of the company and they work with the uh, clients to get the requirements to so large number of requirements right uh, at larger scale uh, the big picture is portfolio right at, at top level so basically we they get the business epics over here so in the last uh, when we talk about agile so epic is nothing but the the collection of user stories so they uh, the portfolio the portfolio management group will collect the business epic business epic so this is the uh, this is the responsibility of portfolio management group. So they will get the requirements and they will create the business epic over here. They will collect all the requirements from the customer. Now the second level is program. So to implement those business epics into uh, features, features, we have this program level. So who will uh, take care of this program level, the second level? So here we have release team or release management group so have we have here release management 
group who handles the features uh, which needs to be implemented so we'll get the uh, business epics from the uh, portfolio management group and convert them into features here in program and this is also called agile release train this level is also called agile release train so this is the first level now this is the second level now the third level is team so here uh, the engineering team will work team to will work to get the to implement all the features into convert features into user stories user stories so we have seen a, what do you mean by user story so it it may contain one feature or multiple features based on the requirements the size of the requirement uh, uh, the size of the work uh, needs to be done for a particular feature so the engineering team involve involvement uh, i mean it involves dev team and testing team so actual implementation is done in this uh, by the engineering team so these are the three levels of agile framework guys scaled agile framework top level uh, middle level this is the top level and this is middle level and we have bottom level uh, if i draw a pictorial representation so it will look like uh, let me just draw it so it will look like so let's say if we have different releases over here release one release two like this release three release four now these releases will be this is kind of product and this product so this is handled by the last team which is engineering team and this will be handled by the middle level or you can say program program or release management group and in a broader way in the large picture which will handle by the portfolio management group portfolio management group which is nothing but the top level portfolio so this is about the different segments in scale agile framework now we have some core values in scale agile framework core values so what are those core values so the first one is alignment alignment so what do you mean by alignment so what happens here is we need to understand the current state uh, of the business and uh, planning for the upcoming projects and understands the uh, sets the goal in this particular alignment and all the levels all the levels should be aligned to this uh, whatever we goal set for the company so all the levels like top level middle level and uh, bottom level all should be aligned to the core values of the scale agile framework so that is the first point the second one we have built in quality built in quality so what do you mean by this built in quality so basically uh, in agile principle we have seen that deliver uh, the rapid delivery of the software to the customer now along with the uh, delivering the software we should also maintain the quality as well as some uh, add some business values to the customer so that is built in quality that comes under built in quality what is the third point transparency transparency so in uh, all the levels should be transparent guys so discuss all the what is the business value of the company and uh, yeah, so uh, all the levels should be transparent enough to discuss about the, the current business scenarios and uh, discuss about the upcoming projects within the organization. And fourth point is program execution. So what is the meaning of this program execution? So this is the heart of uh, scale agile framework. 
so here we mainly discuss like uh, how what uh, how to deliver the software to the customer like uh, the main release the releasing of the software to the customer so that comes under this program execution like along with the it's it's not about just releasing the product to the customers what value we are adding to the uh, what value we are adding to our business so that is the main uh, idea about this program execution now the fifth point is leadership leadership so this is an important point so what happens is it requires uh, some leadership behavior to follow this agile scale agile framework so leader can change the system so this is an important part of uh, scale agile framework so these are the five core values of scale agile framework guys so we have alignment we have built-in quality transparency program execution and leadership so this is about scale agile framework so in the next slide i'll talk about uh, we'll just recap like what we have discussed so far so let me take you to the next slide so what is scale uh, scale agile framework so it is known as safe as we have discussed this methodology is an agile framework for development teams the framework is divided into three segments so we have talked about team program and portfolio so this is the top level this is the second level and team is the the bottom level now following are allowed in safe to implement agile software and systems in enterprise level at enterprise level gives detailed guidance for work at enterprise design based on lean and agile principle so so we should follow the agile principles designed to meet the needs of organization so these are the four things which we uh, discuss in this agile, scale agile framework so what are the benefits of scale agile framework so it is lighter in weight and uh, simpler also it can be used to handle large size streams few of the key benefits are listed below increase the productivity so when we follow this scale agile framework it increases when we use this agile uh, scale agile framework and in, it increases the productivity helps in increasing the employee engagement and job satisfaction so this is an important point guys so it increases the employee eng engagement and job satisfaction because here the involvement of all the levels like we have top level middle level and uh, bottom level so all the all teams will be in a synchronized in, in a particular sync right and they will work together to achieve the goals decreases the time taken for the time to market so if you follow simple agile process or normal software development life cycle so it will be like this now if you follow this scale agile framework so it takes less time to deliver the software to the market or customer increases the quality so it increases the quality as well as some value adds to the business so this is the benefits of scale agile framework now what are the different uh, project management tools agile project management tools we have so we have service now we have really software spira plan we have target progress plan view so these are some of the project management tools agile project management tools so this is all about scale agile framework guys so this is an introduction uh, it's, it's a, there is a huge uh, topic uh, like scale agile framework if you talk about so this is just an introduction so please like this uh, video share it and comment comment if you have any questions and thank you so much for watching this have a nice day bye bye